Principle number four tells us to put every decision point in a process, preferably at the place where work is performed, and specifically the work that produces the information that is required to make the decision. And it also tells us to try to seamlessly integrate all control activities into the rest of the work performed in the process. By control, we mean uh, every activity that has to do with checking something, if something is correct, or with verifying, or with approving something. So it's a principle that applies specifically to activities of type check, verify, or approve. In this type of tasks, this principle tells us that we should empower the process workers to make their own decisions. The counterpart of this is that we have to provide process workers with the information they need to make the decisions themselves. So this principle is also related to the first two principles of having all information in a shared database in a way that all stakeholders can see it and also that we have to always combine the tasks that produce information with the tasks where the information is captured in an information system. This principle allows us to replace back and forth handovers between process workers and process managers with well-designed controls where the process workers are on the one hand empowered to take the decisions that they need in order to make the process progress but in, in return, there are some controls that are performed from time to time, for example, statistical controls.